Hello everyone, this is Robert here with a Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. Today I'm going to cover the job tracking app called My Hours, and this is the 2.0 version. So this is the most current version that they have. This one pretty much you can set up your job schedule if you know it ahead of time, or you can actually do a clock in. So you can clock in and have it uh, track the time for you. What I like the most about this one, even though it seems a little outdated on its uh, soft on its look, is that the fact that when you clock in and clock out, it logs it into your calendar. So if you want to have that added to your calendar, that's what I like the most about this one. Okay? And uh, pretty much the last time this one was updated was April of this year. I know we're currently uh, mid-July. So it still works. I'm not sure what the feature of this app is going to be, but I figured I'd give you guys a review anyways. So we're going to go into mine, so I can go ahead and give you guys an idea, show you kind of what it looks like. So as you can see here, I've got one that was logged in today. You can scroll backwards, and you can also scroll forward, see if you have anything on your schedule. You can do a search. So if I do a search, I can go in here and I can search, or I can uh, go to my history. If I um, tap on any one of the dates, it gives me the option to manually enter it in and you have a code here on the side showing you which job it is you can add your selection by shifts or you can add them by time whatever you think is easier you can swipe across on the top you'll get your separate days of the week now you can also hit that clock in button clock in will allow you to select which any one of the places that you have in here and once you clock in so let's say we clock in it'll start a timer and then you'll see it has a red blinking on the top you'll also get a badge icon on the outside then you hit clock out it's gonna ask you you wanna clock out now you say yes and it, as you can see it's logged in my time if I don't like that hit the trash can and I can delete it and get it out of there okay now if we go into the settings you can see that you can do multiple jobs you go up here to your jobs and you can color code your jobs and you can also select your pay you can do your pay and you can do your breaks so you can set up all that information in there manually you can have a remember your times if you wanted to do that you can also do uh, shift durations you can enable the clock in and clock out button if you need it you can also do an off label so you can set in there so it shows you your days off you can display the amount of weeks that you want to display and you can also display the amount of weeks back that you want to display. So you can either have to do it every current week or every four weeks or however you want to do it is easier for you. You can set your start week, your group by, and then this is the part I like the most, which is the calendar syncing. You can set it up for your calendar. Every time you clock out or you log in a time, it'll load it into the calendar. Even if you're setting up your schedule, if you have a current schedule for the entire month, it'll all show up in your calendar in the preferred calendar you pick. You can also set up a couple of miscellaneous features on the bottom down here. So that's the main feature of this app the most. Keep track of your work time, keep track of your work pay, however you want to to look at it and have it show up in your calendar. That that's the only thing that this one really does it that it does the best. So I wanted to give you guys an idea in case you want to keep track of your jobs, you got multiple jobs, different shifts, those kind of things. This one's a good app to check out if that's something you want to do. Okay, so if you guys like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you got any comments, give me those comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll get all my other videos as they come out. Alright, thank you guys for watching.